Hey guys, uh, welcome back to this tutorial on how to build a blog with Sprint Boot. In this video, we are going to build um, some front end uh, of our blog because right now we are doing all of our operations through Postman and that is not really desirable as our blog grows and especially we want to give our users the possibility to interact with our blog in a normal fashion way. So um, the first thing we're going to do is um, try and uh, the first thing I did actually is to import the time leaf uh, dependency into my POM file and I created a home controller that I mapped to the slash value with uh, and returns an index, which is basically a static page, index page that you can find here. And as I restarted my server, I have this my blog right here, as you can see, which is exactly the served HTML page that corresponds to index.html. Before diving in, we want to address a problem that I noticed before. When we are getting the posts, as you can see right here, we have the password. Uh, actually, let me do a post, uh, get a request again. As you can see, we have that the creator returns to us the password and the roles. But actually, maybe we are just interested in, to, in the, the username. We do not want to show the password as well to the we do not want to give the users an endpoint to retrieve the ashed passwords. So we have to fix this somehow. If we go on to the endpoints of users and send the request, as you can see, we have this kind of problem right here that we have to address. We have to remove the password and um, I'm not too sure about the roles yet. Uh, we'll have to think about it, but the password, yeah, we want to remove that. So let's do that. Going back to IntelliJ IDEA and we will have to go on the user and annotate password with JSON ignore. Uh, not the username though, but the password. Save it up, refresh the server start again and let's see if this simple annotation fixed our problem let's open up postman once again send the request and as you can see you do not see the password anymore we can do the same thing for rows but at the moment i don't mind too much and i'm gonna stick with the roles as they are so going back to intellij idea i imported both Axios and Vue.js. Axios is needed to make some Ajax calls and Vue.js is just the framework we are going to use. I downloaded the development uh, version so that I can see some debug messages on JavaScript console. Um, okay, I'm also going to import Skeleton to make it this blog a little easier on the eyes, so I'm gonna use a link, a link CSS to my CDN. Well, not my CDN, but a CDN. There you go. I'm gonna save this up and we should be good to go. So the first thing we're gonna do, we are gonna create a div with an ID of root and we're gonna place them uh, in a class of container. We're gonna place inside uh, a row. So a div of class row and maybe plug in something straight up from the skeleton, uh, the skeleton uh, um, examples, something like this which splits the, the the layout in 1 and 11. But 
as of right now, we just want 12 columns. Okay. And, oh, also I'm working on the register page. I'm sorry. Uh, this should be the index page. So I'm going to real quick paste this up and change this to index. And uh, what we're going to do is write blog h1 blog my blog okay let's start the server and see what happens let's go on localhost 8080 and uh, you can see here that I have an error and this is due to the fact that I didn't close the link tag. This is uh, time leaf is actually really annoying about this stuff, but I'm not sure if I can disable such error some way. I'll have to Google that. Anyway, once you do that, there we have a uh, my blog with uh, skeleton. As you can see, if we inspect the HTML, we have this div right here with 960 pixels, so Skeleton is working fine. Okay, I'm gonna close this video here so that we can dive into Vue.js on the next one. Thanks for watching, have a good one.